Look at you. You look mad. It's insane. I can't stop looking in the mirror. You, I, I mean, I like, it's really, it's, oh, you know what it is? It's a, it's Glinda, but like horror. It's, it's like, it, it's, it's assaulting. Yes. It's What's, a violent, um, it's aggressively pink. Like it's, um, violently pink. Yes. It's, it's honestly, it's not inviting. It's not, it's, 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 it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> There's something scary about it. It's not soft or like fluffy. This is not bar this is barbed wire Barbie. Yeah, you know? it's um it's sort of like a experimental film. Like yeah. like the Oppenheimer experiment, the atomic bomb. It it feels like the per I don't it feels like it's not meant to be scary, but it's meant to be unnerving. And it is achieving that. Like something something dressed up so sweet that it actually turns your stomach. Sickeningly sweet. Yeah, this much pink and like the, I think this much blue the, eyeshadow. I think it's the 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 saturation of, in like the shapes of the uh, face. It really does give like makeup food poisoning. Yes. Yeah. And like yeah. how high the brows are, and they're like kind of straight across. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. They're I in love the, the middle hair, of my forehead. Fina Barbatol made this hair. Wonderful. She turned it out. Yeah. She sure I, did. Last night I DJed at Heart because they had Aqua there. Aqua Barbie Aqua, girl who's playing in LA tonight. Oh. Yes, I had a DJ gig because I did looking good, feeling gorgeous at Heart West Hollywood, and I don't think this is a secret. They let me instead of paying a location fee do an appearance, so I saved a bunch of money on location fees. So I was like, love it. You love to save money. You love a deal. You love, love a to save money. It's Music great. videos are expensive. Yeah, no, they are, and you pay for them, and I pay for them. But then again, you and I have had conversations with signed artists who've told us that they make like less than twenty percent of their own music sales. So. Oh, I know. It really God. like you have to pay for the, the video, but you do make more. So I don't, know. I don't know. But at this point, all artists are fighting over a fraction of a cent you get from Spotify. No shit. So who cares? Who cares? Um, but you and I, or I did a gig last night with Aqua, and Aqua Aquarium was one of my first CDs. I felt one of my contacts just move. No, that was the door. Aqua Aquarium. <laughs> I had that CD, mm. and so meeting them was very thrilling because How in 1997 I had their CD. 97 was a great year for everything. And I would say that that's probably one of the only bands that is Europop that I like. I was going to say, it's pretty like um, Eurovision kind of. I actually think Eurotrash. you would like some of it. I do. I do like some of it. It's a little bit more um, hyper pop, like Red Bull Sweet. Like, you like boop -boop -doop 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 darker, sexier. But I can get into like, you know, Little Big. Like, little Skibidi Big? Little Big. They're huge. A Russian band um, that's like very gimmicky, like uh, Aqua. Yes. Very similar energy. Crazy music videos, but there's songs like skip it dee dee boop boop boop. Yeah. Skip it dee boop 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 boop. And that's what inspires you. Because I've heard your writing. So it's sort of like that. Like techno dancer. Oh yeah. Techno dancer. I will be your daddy. That's Shit it. like that. Exactly. Um I have small penis. Or I have I have big penis. Yeah. It's and then it's like, um I, I what I love about Aqua is what I love about the B fifty twos, the male female call and response. That's what they Where do it's too. A girl baby voice who's like ma 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 ma, and then the guy's like. Bleh, 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 bleh. That's literally Love. little big. Yeah. That's literally like um, it's like it's gonna take more than one margarita. I'm gonna be your sweet senorita. It's like <laughs> it's like so crazy. It's so cheesy, but it's viral on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, it was. This looks viral on YouTube. It's viral for yeah, sure. On, it's a, vi it's a viral. Load. It's a viral load. It's a viral load. Well, um, well, who's the designer of this gorgeous gown? Um, this is Heatherette's uh, very own Trevor Rains, who built ah! this for me. And can you believe it? It still fits. Oh my God. Well, it's stretch, honey. Well, she had a big ass then. She's got a big ass now. <laughs> it's actually a little big, but I was thicker at this moment. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, it's, it's not, but I love it. It's what I like no, about no, it. I know what is, it's it's what I liked about when I looked like this, mm. what I liked about it was that I looked crazy. Crazy, yes. And this type of adornment looks crazy and i liked looking crazy your colors are pink and pink i was also very into asymmetry at the time so all my hair was to one side always a bow on one side jewelry on one hand like i don't know what that's so wild because you're you have such a gym like geometrically symmetrical face or we we want we, to. that's the we goal hope. is it to distract or to yeah to anybody who watches my youtube video my youtube video did you just hear this person say that my makeup's symmetrical thank no, you No, i mean the blueprint is we hope yeah the, yeah when you lay the ground the foundation sometimes it's not are you good with symmetry with makeup are you fucking kidding me You're how not. the fuck no no it's hard how to the fuck no it's hard and you know what i found i can look in the mirror and not see it and then later when i see a picture i go are you kidding me one eye oh. is like i'm like so when did i turn cross-eyed completely <laughs> like have I, I always been cross-eyed like 
I know. It's so crazy. And I don't, have you ever like eyeballed something if you're doing a measurement like on a, um, you know, a shelf, you're hanging a shelf or something. Oh, like, and you're like, that looks yeah, right. I got it. Four inches wrong. I mean, I it's know. like so, it's so embarrassing. That's like me with, I have to go, that's why like going uh, left to right constantly, I feel uh-huh. like is good. But my face is so asymmetrical. I can't follow the natural shapes. Yeah. Can I tell you more about the gig last night? Please. Oh, sorry. So it was unbearably hot. When I left, I got in the, the car and I'm sweating. I'm wet. My wig, this wig was drip. This I wig wanna, was dripping. I want to come. I want to come to these gigs and just watch with binoculars. I was so I wet. I want to see you suffer. <laughs> it was so wet. Every time I powdered, it got worse, like more worse. Yeah. And then I'm sitting in the car and the, the club owner goes, well, we're trying to track down who had turned the air off. And I go, oh, someone was responsible for and that. And he said, they found out who turned the air off. And like I These said, so they sad. will be dealt with. <laughs> He goes, yeah, we want to have you back in August. I go, yeah, I'd love to get on the phone with you and talk to you about air conditioning. I literally just said that. Karma is real and she will come for you. What is that that um, that thing that Kim, she said about you in the fake feud? Oh, Kim's in a fake feud with me like every few months. <laughs> I think right now Shay's in a fake feud with me. Perfect. What happens is like, Shay or Kim will text me like, it's time for another feud. This is what I think we should. And Shay or Kim will be like, I think this is what we should fight about. And then a week or two later, out of the blue, I'll wake up to Kim being like, you never change, bitch. Yeah. You're or, still the same musty, dusty, no talent, having as fat bitch you always were. The truth will come out. Trust and believe. Oh, Kim and Shay love to be like, wow, you've changed. Money really changes people. I'm like, or oh, are you guys latchkey children? Are you guys <laughs> yeah. poverty? Sorry, like, you never made any money. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're all apparently broke. Um, so I'm at the gig. It's so hot. And then no, I would no, come back into the gig because I love heart. I love that bar. So fun. Great dressing room. Great everything. Heart is, is that the new... It's it's used to be rage. Rage, got it. So, um, oh, that's they, nice. Rage to heart. Yeah, love heart wins. Rage. Love, love wins. wins. <laughs> and then they have a big light wall, like the LEDs and everything are amazing. Oh. But um, Aqua comes backstage, and of course, those are my first CDs. Yeah. And Barbie Girl, obviously, it's a banger, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Tilly, oh yes. And they come backstage, and I get to hang out with them, and they're really nice. And I'm, you know, looking, and they're just pop stars, right? Euro pop stars. It's different. Yeah. Straight people and drag kind of, they're in like sequin, oh, like, totally. you know, Euro, Euro Euro, Eurovision. Eurovision drag, which is so interesting because they're one of those bands that in America, they seem like they're like one hit wonders, mm. but European and internationally, Mama. the Barbie girl video has, I think 1.2 billion views on YouTube. Fuck. Billion. Yeah. That's like the little big thing I was telling you about. And I said, wow, you guys must be having a crazy year with the Barbie movie and everything. And she said, you know what? She said, Ever since we started this, every year has been a crazy year. Every year has been bigger and crazier. She said, but because Barbie Girl was so big, people will always mentally think like as a one hit wonder. Right. Even though we've had so many charting hits, which is so interesting. I mean, it's like they're so I mean, I mean, that's not it must be borderline disheartening to have such a banger so early in your life. And then it overshadows everything else. Kind of, and yeah. even though that's a compliment, like to have a song that endures is amazing. Yeah. If you wrote Whip It or something, I know. great. I want to. Yeah. I just anyway. I was, and then she was very nice. She kept wanting to kiss me on the mouth with tongue. Yep. Yeah. No, no, not with tongue. But at one point, <laughs> I was DJing, right? And I'm DJing, do 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 do, and I turn and I flip my hair and I go to grab my headphones and I reach over to grab my headphones. She had crawled under the <gasps> DJ booth and was laying on the floor with her legs open, looking up at me, and I was like, oh! And then she got up and was like. And kiss me on the mouth again. And I was like, am I just fucking Aqua tonight? Like, Mama, is you lost a little bit of weight and you are very and sexy. Every, and listen, <laughs> everybody everyone wants, wants, wants me. <laughs> everyone wants me. I think this fucking bow, this bow is falling out, isn't it? Whatever. Um, it's fine. I don't think the bow is the problem. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, there ain't no Did you save your season seven finale look? I love that outfit. Of course. It's going in the archive or Bianca's Drag Museum yeah. or the dumpster or whatever. Um, wait, um, I was listening to the Russian version of Barbie Girl on the way um, to the studio the other day. It's horrible. It sounds Japanese. It, it's, it sounds crazy. It's horrible. Do Russian people, when a, when a super pop hit comes out, do Russian people go like, oh, I hope there's a Russian version. <laughs> do they care? I don't think so. Don't so think... who's the Russian version for? Who's um, not listening to me. the original of that? Probably me. It's really bad. It's bad. It's bad. All the Russian language songs, like versions of uh, like I Will Survive, Yabujit. Yabujit. Yeah, it's terrible. Anyways, um, so how old are they, Aqua? I they guess. gotta be, think about it. They hit in their 20s in 97. That's gotta be, they're gonna be in their 50s probably. 
They oh, looked great. Speaking of in their 50s, can I tell you something? Yeah. I fucked a man in his 50s. <gasps> Honey, the days bam, 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 bam. of being a pedo are gone. I'm not, no, I'm not a pedo, not a pedo, not a pedo, not a pedo. He's a pedo now. He's a pedo, he's a pedo. No. Well, not really. I'm You're 41. 41. We're peers. Peers. Men fucking men. So wait a minute, did you find this on the internet? I found this on the internet. Grinder. Yeah. And I had I had seen his pictures before and I thought it that's a very handsome man. I would like to do sex to him. Never worked out. And then uh we hooked up last night and from the jump, he I he got out of the car while I was peeking through the door with my little towel on. Nude. Wait a minute. You answered the door naked? Uh huh. With a towel on. Do you think you live at a French beach? <laughs> Like it was like it was like midnight. Oh, it's also, the dicking hour. Also, it was it wasn't like people weren't trick or treating. No, like, but I love that you opened the door. Like I hope. No, you, no, by no, the way, I hope I, I hope my towel I didn't on. Lead, like, dick no, first. I hope you had it around the tits with one on your head <laughs> with a bang piece. <laughs> and and uh, you opened the door and you said, "Yeah, are you here to fuck me?" I had a Harry Potter song. I had Harry Potter glasses with cucumber slices <laughs> under the under the glasses, smashed <laughs> under, up against the glass. <laughs> Fuck. So what um what I don't want to be he, too like I don't want to violate his uh, privacy but what was his first and last name? <laughs> it was a um, uh, a name I've never fucked before. It was okay. a new name. And um his name well I'll just say it's like Richard. Never it's like that's like not. a normal name. Yes, okay. normal name. Um and what did you like about the sex? He had a big fucking cock. Do you like that? I did. You know what's funny? I I never like but it was self for the fool of like I wish this guy's cock no, was bigger. No. But when it's big, it is exciting. But it was a big, the shape was like, it was uncut. He was an Englishman, um, but he's been here for a while. And it was like, it was big. Like it, I, he, I couldn't get like ram, ram a jamma. We fucked each other. He fucked you. Ooh, right. Up yeah. your butt. Up my butt with his dingling. You got that dildo going on? Oh, I got the, I, mama, I put, could you get have to dilate? into this. I said, before you fuck me, hold on. I tiptoe like Catwoman and Hathaway uh -huh. to the uh, ba uh, bathroom. I stick that jeweled butt plug in. I go back to the bed and I bend over like I forgot to. I drop something. Ding dong. So you let him jewel know. Jewel thief. <laughs> you know, like the jewel. You can see the jewel. In my the ass. police are coming right now <laughs> for you, bitch. She's in here. She's the in one here. with the jewel of the ocean in her ass. Yes. Yeah. Heart of the ocean. Uh, the hope diamond. So, yeah. The hopeless diamond. The hopeless. That's your butthole jewel. The hopeless diamond. Fuck. Uh, Is that a good drag name? Hope diamond. The fart of the ocean. Um, hope, hope diamond. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Actually. That's too good for drag queens to think of it. Yeah. Drag yeah, queens yeah. are like, I need a wig. Yeah, I need a dick up my ass. I need a bump. No more Anitas. We don't need to do no all that. No more Ivanas. No more nothing. Ivana, Anita. Ivana bumping my dog. Do you think Mistress Isabel Brooks, do you think her first name is Mistress or Isabel? Uh, the first name Mistress, Isabel, maiden name, Brooks, married name. Because <laughs> I was like, is she Mistress like Mr. and Mrs.? I think that's mistress. exactly right. So would you go? Mrs. Kasha would you, Davis. So if I, she, was, uh, she was over there and I want to talk to her, would I go, Isabel? Or would I go, Mistress. Mistress. Mistress, yeah. Or Mistress Isabel. Or you'd be like, Mistress Isabel Brooks. <laughs> Mistress Isabel Brooks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> to the principal's office. Girl. <laughs> girl. But I let me tell you more about my sex time. <laughs> girl, Don't I fish up my diamond. Girl. <laughs> we found love. <laughs> a diamond in the rough. No, that's I, for real. I love found love in a hopeless place. But mm. do you remember Wendy? Um, I almost said Wendy Williams. Wendy Ho. Uh, yeah, yeah. I suck your dick in a public place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll never forget. Blow it, blow my pussy up like the Taliban. Blow my pussy up like the Taliban. That is poetry. I don't you care can what fuck anybody. Me on an airplane. So fierce. It's that was lovely because I had, I didn't really know the original of that song, which was. Well, that's how you know good parody. Yeah. When DWV did that boy's a bottom. Right. It erased the original song in my mind. Yeah. It was a uh, what was that? Wilson Phillips dead. Found dead. Oh yeah, hold on for is it Chick Fil A? Uh, yeah, exactly. Hold on, hold on, right? Hold on was then, so Chow Down. Chow Down on Chick Fil A, parody music. And it was also like an ironic dig at a at a Christian a homophobic chicken company. Yes, very strange. I love when drag queens do like parodies, but they just download like the shitty karaoke track. So it's like shitty midi horns. Come shit. dump, come dump. I hear it and I know. Padam. 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 I hear it and I know. <laughs> Padam. Padam. 
I know you want to take me home. Well, I did. I was like, uh, Siri, play Padam Padam by Kylie Minogue. Padam Padam by Kylie Minogue. Now playing. It's like. I remember my French teacher said, on the first day of French, she said, it's Madame, not Madame, like Madame foot stuck in the door. Hello. That's the deal. Mnemonic devices. Seriously. This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. These days, your digital footprint is almost more important than your actual footprint. But don't let the shoe stores hear that, am I right? <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't matter how fierce you are in your real life if your website is busted. That's why I trust Squarespace as my top-down solution for all things online. Because from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your wonderful business smoothly. I love how Squarespace allows you to connect your social media accounts so I can showcase my favorite social media channels and, you know, let the girls have it, honey. And now more than ever, it's important to have engaging video content to grow your audience and drive sales. That's why Squarespace has a user-friendly video studio so I don't have to be a Spielberg or a Scorsese to create pro-level videos. And I don't need those pesky studio executives breathing down my neck anymore. Thanks, Squarespace. And of course, Squarespace lets you sell your products on an online store. This ain't no communist China. Whether you sell physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. So level up your online strategy with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Wait, talk about, wait, so sex. So, okay, um, so you thought he was... Face, body, everything worked. Everything worked. And I, it felt good to like, you know, when like a, a, a old apex predator sees one of its kind in the savannah, you know, it's like, that's why I felt. I was like, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not like stealing eggs out of nests. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm, we're old, we're grizzled. We're here together. We're doing this thing. We're t- yeah. And he was attracted to me. I gave him a boner. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You gave him a boner. Did, yeah. No, did you do fucking, did you, you sucked his dick? I sucked he his sucked dick. You sucked your dick. He, he loved, uh, this is gross. I mean, he, he yeah. eat your ass, bitch. He, uh, did he rim you? Did he put his tongue up that <laughs> ass, bitch? Did he tongue that 40 year old crusty 41, crevice? 41. That 40 year old donut hole? 40, Jesus. 40 wonderful. 40 <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Mary, I, ate, I ate that fucker's, okay. It was just lovely. It was lovely. In a little conversation, it was peppered in, peppered in the conversation. Sort of like local flora and fauna, yeah, local like, references. Like, like it's like, yo, we were stopped at a long red light. Hey, look at that. Actually, that house was built in 1927 and then we get back to fucking. So you guys be in the middle of fucking and stop and be like. Architecture. I yeah. think Florence Pugh needs a new stylist. <laughs> you know, so by the way, was, she just came out in something. Who put Anne Hathaway on the red carpet like that? Yeah. It's funny watching celebrities like get money and get stylists and then doesn't always work out because oh, some no shit like um margot robbie has a new stylist for this barbie tour and of course every look is unreal unreal also when you when you have a canvas and margot robbie is the canvas you have no excuse you have to actively sabotage you have to really try and make that bitch look ugly yeah she's like probably one of the top three most gorgeous women in the world yeah after i think you, you and, and that yes. oh yeah i thought you said three for a reason like there's you <laughs> gorgeous devours cute <laughs> I wrote wait, down something I want to talk wait, about. Wait, I'm still not done talking about my sex life. Oh, tell me more. Um, uh, he, okay, got really, got romantic. Like, I do romantic role play. I told you about this before. Like, it's not like, yeah, spit in my face, fag, or whatever. Like, people do, you know, slap me, throw the microwave at me. Um, it was like, like, boyfriend kind of experience. Like, super, super intimate. Oh, it was really, very like, sensual. Like, like, I love, rubbing. like, I love you. Like, like you not s- like. Creep, Wait a minute. Not creepy though. Not Wait creepy though. Can I just real no, quick? No, no. Yeah, go ahead. So you you thought it was a fun sex thing to say I love you? <laughs> now, respect it. Or I'll take it away again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Think about what you say before you I wish I had on the show, like That's whenever funny. you talk crazy, Click. I have a little like uh-huh. Click. And it just goes. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't like I love you. It was like that sounds insane. It just got like it was. It was the, like. Uh, it was like. Ah. Uh, oh no. It's ah. Uh, <laughs> so she and I have been obsessed wait, with wait, this. Wait, have we talked about? This? I I, dro- I dropped you off. I the way I went. Repeat. 
repeat. I probably did it, Trixie, 40 times. And to the oh, to a point no. where like I was like, okay, I need to stop because this is gross. So there's this song. Ah. This is a song called One Hot Pleasure by yeah, an we, artist called Erica Jane. We played it before. And the beginning goes like this. Ah. We Tom, can't no, do it again. Do it again. Ah. It's electric. Unfortunately, I think that sample sets the song up for and it doesn't launch. I know. Because that sample's so good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, what, what an intro. Uh, <laughs> like a woman in her like it's a upper 40s at the no time too, keep. probably yeah. upper 40s. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like when they call your name at the dentist's office. <laughs> Guys, Mr. Uh, McCook. Uh, <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> that is so amazing. <laughs> One hot pleasure. It's a great track, but. Yeah. That opening is yeah, so is so good. I have some notes. I have some notes. It's from so Jane. out of nowhere. It's like yeah, but also it's her. She's doing high drag, so I get it. But like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah, it's we were in the car on the way back to. We went to Malibu and we yeah. were just playing it over and over. I'm I'm telling you, when I dropped you off, that's dude, when it really kicked off, dude, huh? I was like, am I insane? I don't care. It's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. So um, how long did the sex go for? Oh God, Mama, we we fucked for hours. Did you really? Oh yeah, it did was fierce. Oh, I was. Mama, rebasing red uh red and chest like uh i'm sorry neck and chest red Deep purple yeah purple because i just wanted to be like secure and solid you know yeah i was rock hard you could have you could have hung from my dick off the side of a cliff with wow. one arm with one arm that's fierce yeah can women take viagra because if it's an it's if, if it's a vasodilator what are they when, for their fucking their boners well no the pussy gets Engorged with blood, which makes it more sensitive. So I wonder oh. if women can take no. like a vasodilator. For, Maybe if they, if, want, if they want like a like a big yes, fat, a big yes. fat firm it, clit. Was that called Yaz or um? Oh, yes. Yeah, Yaz. Yes. Trimex a, right in the clit lip. <laughs> well, saline Filler. injections in the clit. No. Yeah, my my uh, friend, uh, let's call him Bob. He would fuck around with this girl who wanted to fuck him in the ass with her injected clit. Uh. <laughs> What? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> and that's the sound she would make when she got it in. I have watched a lot of different types of porn with different types it. of genitals trying to do different things types you wouldn't of think things. those genitals yeah. would do. Unexpected. Let's say it's like an F to M situation that the person fucking, the person with the sort of enlarged clit mm -hmm. from hormones and stuff, yeah. fucking the other person in the pussy yeah. with the large clit. Fucking a pussy with a pussy. Who knew? Fuck her right in the pussy. Parentheses with a pussy. But that's what's great about sex. There is no limitations. Your no. imagination is your limitation. There's no rules and no boundaries, although there are some age requirements. Dave and I have been having sex a lot. You know what? I think I was inspired by you. You were? I think, yeah, because you you kind of like, you clued me in on what was going on in your sex life. I threw up and then I made some, <laughs> no, no. Well, no. I didn't tell you I was wearing this. <laughs> yeah. No. And I was like, I was like, huh. I couldn't help but wonder why was I not having any sex? And yeah, I was like inspired. We well, got we got you, nasty. Well, we were also in the car, and I noticed that you noticed that I was wearing a Packer in the back. I told I told Eden she has to wear a Packer. Ah! Ah! That is so crazy. Your poor twenty-five-year-old assistant, female assistant. You told her she has to wear a Packer at work. That is so amazing. Like, I, of course I, it. Yeah, like you can do mini skirts. I, there's no. I, I'm not. There are no modesty rules here. But I you're gonna have to put in a Packer. <laughs> yeah. Just Honestly, like I have a few speedos, uh, and I've oh, never I, worn them. You've never worn a speedo. I'm scared. Why? You got a big them. butt. It look great. No, it's like an after-school special where I get a little confident, and I put uh, it on in my house, and I look in the mirror, and I go. Maybe next year. It's always like oh, next year, next year. I have. You look great, Speedo. But I have splurged on nice Speedos, cool Speedos, mm -hmm. and scared to wear them. But now I've been like, should I just get a Packer and wear that? I mean, if I should be, be Miss Nasty with my little Speedo on? Yeah. No, the front. Double Dick. <laughs> double Dick Tuesday. Double Dick. Double Dick Donnie goes to Ginger Rogers Beach and lets them have it. I went to Ginger <laughs> Beach. Yeah. Ginger Rogers Beach. Yeah. Will Rogers Did Beach. Did you like it? Um, uh, I don't care for the ocean. Cold. Uh, it not was getting cold? cold water. The ocean water is cold, Mary. The Pacific Ocean? They, when somebody describes the water as exhilarating, I'm not interested. Well, see, I'm used to like my pool Maine my house is about and Massachusetts. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but Maine, Massachusetts Beach, that's like 60, 50s. No, I know. Cape, uh, not Cape Town. Cape Cod, like P-Town? Yeah. People it, jumping in that ocean, I'm like, what? It's cold plunge. And, the, and crabs running around in P-Town. 
in the ocean. If well, you go step in the ocean, you can see them running around. Like <laughs> it's scary. What if they clipped on my nipple? And then <laughs> I have to jerk off. <laughs> Are your nip? Wait a minute. Are your nipple sensitive? We just we, that that was a topic last night during the sex. Okay. We both he had like uh, like hard hard nipples. Can I ask? Did he have the old, the old guy nipple play thing? Not where it's, quite. It's National not, Geographic. Not. It was um. It was more National Anthem like Lana Del Rey than it was like National Geographic. But it was like you know it was an international. They, anthem. They were perky but not obscene, and they weren't sensitive. Yeah. But we were sucking each other's. Because a lot of the guys are putting like penis pumps, like a Hoover. They put the dice in up to their nipple. Breast pump. Honey. They're breast pumping like Girl. hand that rocks the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really crazy. Yeah. And then I, what I love is when guys say, "Are your nipples wired? 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 Like electrician came in. Wired? An electrician came in and like did a dimmer switch in your lip. It's like, are, I, are your nipples wired? What do you mean? You look down and there's a car battery <laughs> hooked up to your nipples. What are you talking clear. about? <laughs> yeah. Wired? Well, well, I know a friend of mine. Like he has extremely sensitive nipples. Like, and I'm like. Really? Like you could make him come by touching his nipples. It's crazy. I know someone like that. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I, I covet others, that. Yeah. But for me, I do hate when, okay, let's say you like your nipples played with. Uh -huh. If we hooked up, <laughs> which would never happen, <laughs> no matter, <laughs> that'll be the sound. Um, if you, if you have sensitive nipples, mm. you would start touching my nipples and then I have to stop the sex and go. I hate to tell you, my nipples are, it's just like, it's not sexy. Like, it's, a, it's a bucket of dead fish down there. For me, they don't feel sexy. If you could be touching my shoulder. It's just, it's just skin. Uh -huh. Whereas some guys I know like. That's a great tone to the engage nipple, with. They turn hard they go, in two seconds. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's such a crazy sound. It's so funny. It doesn't. It, to it, start it, a song. It really does not particularly signify good or bad. It could be evil. But you know what I, <laughs> I mean? Like it's not it's malevolent. It's malevolent. It's malevolent. It's malignant. It's malignant. Yeah, it's, it's malignant. It's malevolent. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder. Fuck. Listen, I can applaud in music when people make strong choices. That's a strong choice. Well, listen, there's so much competition. And when you're not like an established musician, you're a housewife, you really need to make a splash on the well, international the charts music too. scene. Oh, yeah. You know, not everyone uh, has had a number one dance single. You and I have, of course. Of course we have. And we are, you know, just. Mm -hmm. well, I, I just think she should have said it. should have repeated it. Do you want to fuck that guy again? Oh, I'm, so here's the thing. Absolutely. I would love to. I would love for you to date someone your age. Are you kidding? I, I'm not going to say I manifested he, this because that's insane. That's insane, right? We don't manifest things. We look for them and then we pursue them. Mary, and then, mama. imagine being at home with like, I don't know, a pack of frozen blueberries and be like, I manifested this. No, bitch, you went to Gelson's. <laughs> you did yummy.com delivery <laughs> in 30 minutes or less. That's right. not manifestation. That's I manifested food delivery. a husband. No, yeah. you dated him for years. Yeah. I scrolled Grinder for 45 minutes and then asked everybody to have sex with me. This is the finally, one guy who would. <laughs> the oldest living person did. What? What is he? Who would play him? Oh, great question. It's funny to um, say that unironically. Great question. Yeah, it would be... Um, Pierce Brosnan. Okay, Holman Domingo. Okay, you get out of here. Why? You're not fucking... You don't no, like Pierce Brosnan? No, no, no. That's, that's who it is. And I... and I, But it... I don't know... You're fucking Pierce Brosnan. No, I, it's, he doesn't look like Abigail him, but that's Breslin. what came into my head. That's weird. It's not weird. It's not weird why... I'm psychic. That's the only person... <laughs> We've talked about it. No, but like, it's like, think of a number between one and 60. You picked the number. I'm psychic. Okay. But he doesn't look like Pierce Brosnan. That's what's creepy about this. So why did you think of Pierce Brosnan? I don't know, but you said it. You read my mind. Isn't that bizarre? No. I guess it's not that I bizarre. Thought he I, no, I thought he uh, You manifested so who, it. Who would no, he play? Um, who would play him? I would say, I'm going to say, I can't think of it right now, but in Get Out, Bradley Cooper, but he's not that blonde. Wow. Not Bradley Cooper. Bradley Whitford. And you think Bradley Cooper's in Get Out? Bradley Whitford. Do you think all white people look the same? Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Why don't you get out? I will. And I'll go inhabit the body of a black man. Yeah. That was my <laughs> takeaway from Get Out is that all white people look the same. All white people look the same and they have horrible deficient genetics and they want to snatch those black beautiful bodies. Well, between that movie and Hereditary, I love anything where old white people are the villain. Creepy oh, villains. Mama. Creepy, creepy old white people. Creepy pasta. The old white naked people in hereditary nothing's more chilling Except that's you and him meeting mama, to, to congregate that's me naked go taking a break looking at my garden through the glass window smiling I, I feel for the person who sees that 
Because they will be terrified to their bones. They will be chilled to their bones. I would, I would. Chilled to the bones. I would say if they do see that though, they're trespassing in your backyard. No, no, no. You can see like the house up there, the house up there. They just see oh, a fucking. Yeah. Jessica Beale deserves better. Yeah, she does. Sandy Is she Bullock. your neighbor? Uh, no, Sandy Bullock lived there before she was super famous across the street. We got Jimi Hendrix back in the day. Uh-huh. Uh, Stevie Nicks was up top. Wow. Lindsay Lohan rented. Uh, the facade of my house is famously featured in the opening scene of The Bling Ring. I can't tell if you're joking. I'm being serious. I mean, these aren't funny jokes. These aren't funny, what I'm saying. So. Well, it's kind of your usual <laughs> thing, isn't it? Jai ho! Jai ho! Um, so you want to see this guy again. What is it, does, he's in his 50s. He yeah. obviously has a job. Mm-hmm. He's months from retirement, which months. is great. He had cancer. He had... So Well, that's good. He got it out of the way. We had surgery two days apart. Isn't that crazy? Same doctor, Doctor Snibby. No, I'm just kidding. I think um, that's how. No, but we did. I have, think that's how Be, uh, Ben and Jennifer met. It's kind of Ben. It's, it's kind of weird. I was like, I mentioned the hip thing because I was fucking him, and I was like, I need he to take heard a break. The, yeah, rawr, rawr, the yeah. grinding of metal against wood, wood beat steel, mm-hmm. and um, I was like, oh, you know, and he then he like, yeah, I have a fucking kidney cancer, or whatever. And I was like, during sex. Uh, yeah, and I was like, oh, say it again. I'm almost gonna come, you know. Who is your dog? Who's your PCP? Do you have Blue Cross? Oh, no. Oh, silver PPO <laughs> plan. Oh! No, no, no. But he had um, an operation. Okay, like I showed him my scar. He showed, you know, operation. He asked me randomly, when did you have it? And I said the date and he had it two days before. Isn't that strange? You showed him your scar? Well, I was naked. Or did you show him your gash? Oh, he was inside the gash. If you don't have cash, you can't pound this gash. <laughs> Of our Lady, no, Lady yeah. Bunny tweeted today. I hate to be so blunt, uh, but a lady must be up front. No cash, no cunt. <laughs> you don't know that one? No. It's Varlegy. It's so good. Lady so Bunny good. tweeted today, uh, <laughs> uh, Billy Porter broke up with his husband of six years, and I'm still trying to figure out who gave me crabs. <laughs> she tweeted that today. Oh, uh, Dreams and nightmares. That's Lady Bunny. What does a guy do for a living? Can you say? I, 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 I will not. Say I'll say it okay. off the air. Yeah. Okay. Because he works for Fox News and he's a big MAGA supporter. Oh, it's Tucker Carlson? <laughs> yes! Are you yes. fucking Fucker Carlson? Fucker Carlson. Fucker Carlson. <laughs> Today's Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by Better Help. Sometimes when life is tough, we don't always understand which path is forward. You guys, I feel like the longer like I've been alive, the more complicated human relationships become. Everybody I love, I want to kill. Everybody I want to kill, I actually love. You know, it's, it's, it's so complex sometimes figuring out my own feelings about others that let alone figure out my own feelings about myself sometimes and my whole process and the way I move about the world. And talk therapy is life-changing for someone like me where if I don't have just somewhere to organize and plan and like attack and and improve myself, like I'm just letting the rope slip out of my hand, you know? Whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, relationships, really anything else, I mean, therapy is a way to stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. I mean, that's, it's not always about trauma and being sad. Sometimes it's just making sure you are gripping the wheel in a way that you respect yourself and you want the best for yourself. When it comes to my health and my happiness, I will never be negligent. I will always look out for myself. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you do it, the easier it gets. It's really helpful learning positive coping skills, learning how to set boundaries. Honestly, it's crazy sometimes how just being forced to say like my snap judgment or like, you know, I think I don't know the answers, but talk therapy allows me to figure out like, I do know, all the, I do know what I want. I do know what bothers me. I just sometimes don't have the you know, the juice in me to be honest with myself about it. If you're thinking of starting talk therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch any time with no additional charge because it really is like a matchmaking thing, you know? Like I know for me, I want somebody who's very coherent and competent in LGBTQ issues because it's not just sex. Like queer people, we have different, it's a different brand of relationship. I mean, I really do feel like two men sometimes it's like, I'm like, I know these are weirder problems than straight people have, you know, like honestly, let your therapy be your map with better help. 
Visit BetterHelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Extra, extra, we are going on tour. That's right, Katya and I are taking the bald and the beautiful out on the road. So come see us in the flesh retelling the same old story. One of us while... may or may not interrupt the other. And we can guarantee that we will talk about a movie in great detail that premiered 27 years ago. That's right. For tickets and more info, please check out TrixieandKatya.com. Ooh, there ain't no other way. <laughs> I wrote down a couple things because I have to talk to you about something. Okay. Dianetics by L. Ron oh, Hubbard. No, bitch. I watched this new show. What? Okay. I, you, you just got to follow me because <laughs> you know in TV sometimes they, they choose a sensational name for the show to get you to, to, to watch? Oh, my God. Is it with like... It'll be called like Pig Fuckers or something. Like it will just be called something crazy. <laughs> this, this is a show called Crack Addicts. And... That's it? No, it's called Crack Addicts. But this is not... But it's not intervention. It's a chiropractic clinic. It's like the Dr. Pimple Popper of chiropractic clinics. So Dave and I are like, crack addicts. <laughs> so you're telling me the show with crackheads is called intervention. And the show <laughs> with back cracking is called crack addicts. And I kept forgetting the name. So I kept being like, what's that show? Crackheads? <laughs> Cracky? Cracky. I watched it and it was, of course, like, you know, satisfying because it's people who have like ailments yes, and she course. cracks the shit out of their bodies and helps them. The storytelling was so good. I got so invested. I started out like, let's watch a show called Crack Addicts. That's funny. Yeah, and then and you're like, after so, the adjustments, I was like, them. she's a mom and she needs to be able to move so she can keep up with her kids ever since she lost her husband. I got so into it. But I thought the word Crack Addicts for the name of a TV show is I, out of pocket. I, it, is, it, is, it is absolutely out of pocket. It's, it's Triesha. What show are you on? Oh, well, I'm, I'm on this show called Crackheads. I'm what binging is Crack Addicts. Crack Addicts. Yeah, we're binging. We're binging Crack <laughs> I'm just, I'm at home binging, binging. Crack Addicts. Yeah, crack Addicts. <laughs> but I also can really applaud the marketing. Of course, it's sensational. Because they're, it, it, the show is for people who we love, love crack. Cracks. Back cracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cracks are really satisfying. I mean, I, but Crack Addicts, can you believe that? Intervention's called intervention. They should call it butt comma cracks. But cracks? <laughs> no, but here's the thing about chiropractor, Cairo, whatever the noun is. It's like not, I think it's chiropractiana. Chiropractic. Yeah. It's like it's not snake oil. It's but not snake oil. It's not it's not medical school. Like it's this is not a this is not like a um They're not doctors? Is that stupid? No. No, they're not doctors. So do doctors like Doctors Look down do not on chiropractors, do, or they they like it. Many of them do. Really, absolutely. They think they're no. They think they're charlatans. Do because you think they are. I think that a lot of them are. I think. I doesn't think that of, can fall into the the like body work? Doesn't that fall yes. into the you know? Yeah. I mean, there's. I think there's more precision and training involved in this one rather than, I you would argue Reiki, where it's more like energetic and a little bit more nebulous. Yes. Or acupuncture, which is like more you know Eastern esoteric, but like chiropractor when they're just yanking you and. Saying because your bones are out of joint. I I don't know. A lot of people who are like very clued in to the medical community are like, that's bullshit. Well, um, it probably feels great though. Until I you break issues. your collarbone during like, an adjustment. Yeah. I have issues with my SI joint, as you know. Remember on tour it was bothering me? Where mm -hmm. your back connects to your pelvis. Yeah. And my friend Kendon, who always does my massages, he sent me a bunch of videos that he got from his doctor friend about how to like release your SI joint at home. Like, so you can feel like a pop. I did the exercises the other day after days SI of joint, pain. SI joint is like, I'm not even, it doesn't even move though. Days of pain. You're gone. I got on the floor. I got the roller out and did the activities. Uh -huh. The pain was instantly gone. Oh, that's great. I've run every day since with zero pain. I'm not saying car that means chiropractors are real. No, no, no. But adjusting, stretching, realigning is real. Sure. And also we're like hunched. I mean, we're living lives hunched with our necks like, Bent forward over Mary, the phone. I've I've been holding my phone like this because I'm like I look so crooked. I'm like yeah yeah yeah. Let me text you. This one. Yeah, it's horrible. It's, yeah, literally. I mean, people. I found myself walking like into a wall at home, like on the. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's not right. It's not right, and it's normal for those Gen Zs. They need to. They need to really like realign that behavior. Maybe with a chiropractor. You did. I don't know. I I said, do you see the hot guy chiropractor on YouTube or Instagram? He did, um, what's her face? A Drag Race girl recently. Uh, Jada, Jada, no. Um. I love everyone. No, you don't. I love everyone. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I'm never going to do. 
What? Get veneers, get a hairline surgery, get a chiropractic treatment in exchange for you taping it and putting it on the internet. Oh, okay. Now, what... So... I, I like a little bit of privacy when it comes to these things. I had the same thing with the microblading. I felt very on the fence about it. Very on the fence about like uh, trading. I'd rather just pay for it. I know. That's what that's. I know. I know. I'd rather just pay for it. I know. I know. Because I don't know what's going to happen to that content. It's my body. It's personal. I, know. I, I feel the same way. It was and a I very have no conflicted. way of knowing how much business that brings someone. So I have no way of knowing what the value is of what I'm giving you. Or if it's going to flop. Whereas with dollars, I know exactly. You want a thousand dollars? Great. Whatever. You know, right, right, totally. um, I have to tell you about something else. Okay. I got a call from the, I get calls from Hilton, uh, um, per, Paris, per, uh, Perez, per, uh, Bella Kathy Hilton Hadid. calls me. No, my name <laughs> it's is Bella Hadid. <laughs> um, I get calls from them for telemarketing. And the other day I was at CVS picking up Viagra. Yes. And I was like outside and this guy calls me and I had just finished a run and he calls me and he goes, Hey, I know you work hard. I want to, I, uh, but I want to put you, uh, I got a great vacation package for you. Like I said, and I, I, I'm not good at hanging up the phone. You're not? No. So I'm, your I, own phone I'm that trapped you pay for? In, but I don't know how to hang up at a telemarketer without feeling rude. You'd be like, Oh my God. You, then you'd hang I up. Guess. Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> So I, wait, I, he's I, got a gun. Ah, he yeah. goes, where are you going to go? I see. I said, to where? He goes, Las Vegas. And I go, you called the wrong person. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to Las Vegas. I said, I live in Los Angeles, which is more beautiful yeah. than fucking Vegas. Yeah. Get I the said, fuck out of here. I said, what else you got? <laughs> Mizzou, I just wanted to see what else he was going to recommend. I said, what else you got? Try again, honey. He mentioned, and then I forget where he said next. And I said, I travel for a living. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> you chewed him out. Yeah. And then I said, what else you got? Yeah. You got He's, a big hard dick you want to fuck me with? He Try said, again. what about Fort Lauderdale in Florida? I said, do you know what the politics in Florida? Mama I shit. said, it's borderline illegal to be gay yeah. in Florida. I said, I'm gay. Yeah. And I waited for him to answer. And he paused and he goes, well, I don't know much about the politics in Florida. And I go, well, let me tell you. And I started glancing <laughs> into a whole tirade about the politics you of Florida. You held him hostage. Eventually, yeah, because I was like, I need you to decide to never call me You're again. You're 0 for 3. I'm going to make sure you never dial this number I again. Don't have, yeah, I don't have the heart to say, like, leave me alone, fucker. But I don't know why that voice. <laughs> leave me alone, you little pig fucker. Don't ever call me again, you little pig fucker. So, uh, leave me alone, you little pig fucker. <laughs> I tell them marketer calling him a pig fucker and hanging up. Yeah. Like, Maybe we'd love to get up to you, big fucker. Yeah, yeah. We, we we'd like to offer you a package. I bet you would like that, you little fucker. Um. So then finally, I go. Well, I live in Los Angeles, and I I fuck pigs all day. Sorry. And I didn't know what to say other than I also am very fortunate where I can afford to travel anywhere I want. So yeah. you should call someone else with this deal because if I want to go somewhere, I'll go somewhere. <laughs> So I said, like, I, I'm not a good person for you to pitch this to. Okay. You, you should call someone else now. And this is a cold call. Yes, yeah, so that's how I got him off the phone was like, <laughs> like, as a salesperson, I want to coach you into calling people who actually fit that deal. Oh, my God. I'm not going to Vegas. You're bitchy. You're helpful. You're um, and you just move them on to the next. Yeah, I yeah. said, good luck to you. Yeah. A salesperson to salesperson. Good luck to you. Yeah. Good luck. And don't forget before you sell. And have it, a great day. You got to buy it yourself. That's true. I'm also like, sir, would you go to Florida? Like I was like, do you want to go to Florida? Do you realize what you're selling? Yeah. Do you know? He's like, do you know? Do you want to smell that? The shit coming out of your mouth right now? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you want to go to Florida? I'm like, do you want to go visit the Titanic? Well, like, I'd rather some go down do. there to the Titanic than go to Florida. Yeah, I'd rather go down my there life. and drown with a group of fucking yuppies. I don't want to be insensitive to all that because my God, how horrible! That's people's moms and daughters and friends. No, 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 and all no. That. Those people were born in a laboratory. They were made in a laboratory. We have no business down there. In we the have ocean? no business down there in the ocean. I agree. We don't need to go to On the Mars. Moon, thank you. And we don't need to go to the ocean. Say it again. And we also need to go to Florida. <laughs> you know, like Florida's the middle and still the worst, but <laughs> we don't need to be on the, the moon. Moon? Which is great because I don't think we ever went there. Jupiter? That's a whole other story. Florida. Or, yeah, the deep Mariana Trench. We don't Miss Mariana? need to be scraping. They say something like 90% of the ocean's un, like, undiscovered. Explored. Yeah. Dark and horrible. We have no business down there. No business at all. Stay in your lane. There's no timeshares. There's spooky fish. There's high pressure. What do you think about peeing in the ocean? Peeing in the ocean like, or being in the ocean? We were at the beach the other day and we had to pee and I didn't want to of pee in the course. ocean. So what? I walked to the convenience store to pee. Oh, that's a little crazy. And David got in the ocean and peed. And I said, that that seems... I love it. If I was a fish, it'd be like, right who's that? Pee, right up oh, the pee hole? They look funny. What are they doing? Are they pissing in here? Like... <laughs> The well, humans got the ocean to piss and well, leave. What do you think they're doing? 
I guess they're, they're I mean, they'd and go they're to the convenience it. store if they could, I guess. But they're, um, I heard like a, a not, perhaps not true, like, uh, fact about this fish that's like attracted to urea, the chemical in urine. And it's like, it goes straight up your dick hole when wow. you pee. And I think that was just like a wives tale. People say not to pee in pool, not, you know. Fish whatever. can't swim up piss holes. No, these tiny little like long fish, like little teeny swordfish, <sighs> they go straight up the dick hole. In sounding. There, sounding in the ocean. Yeah. The sound of the ocean. Yeah, it's the sound of music. <laughs> Do you ever want a sound? You want to stick pipe cleaners up there? I knitting needles in my dick hole. It um, at my age. That's one of those behaviors where I go. It's Adam and Eve, not, not Adam, Adam and Steve. Steve. Well, it's just like I love. It's like baseball's great. I can't. No, that's not a metaphor. I, that metaphor doesn't work. But like, I don't. I like. We can I, go I, to the I, bar I, and get a drink, but I don't need to drink bleach. Yeah, I like. I will do the ice bucket challenge, but you're not going to drop me off a helicopter in Antarctica with no coat. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's yes. I, that's not. Wait, do you know about Mount Everest? I do. Did we talk about this? Oh yeah. Uh, fro- we, oh, we talked about. We this. talked about it in private. In private, we talked about people frozen. People yeah. try to climb Mount Everest and just mm-hmm. yeah, and they, frozen. And hopefully, you just the only you know it's an undignified like way to die, but you just hope that you your final pose is something fierce. You know, oh, like, you hope it's like a top model. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Have you ever watched Top Model? I watched it while I was on the air. D- Dave and I were watching season one from the beginning <sighs> of the other day. It is. Well, wild. the budget is so fierce. You have about six judges wild. around a card table, a uh, folding uh, uh, card table in a garage. The lighting situation light. is one flickering bulb, and then the TV where they show them. Let's show you your best look. Is a wheel. It's a fourteen-inch. Not even flat screen TV. A fat back, a small fat back. <laughs> it's on one of those like the school, um, high like, school multimedia. Yes. Like someone, yeah. the teacher rolls in rolls the multimedia it. thing. And you watch it, yeah, and everybody falls asleep. Yeah, oh my God, it's crazy, humbling. It's really crazy. But she is, Tyra is unlike no other. She goes for it. She, she swings, pulls no punches. She swings hard, big, and wild. Yes. And it's often to a very horrifying effect, you know. And you know, there was a season, David was telling me there was a season where the judge was Twiggy. And at oh, the yeah. top of the season, they were like, you know, Twiggy, part of how she broke through was having this iconic nickname. So this season, we're going to give you all iconic nicknames. And I'm sure some of them were like, Legs, Duchess. David said one of them went by her, like, her last name, and her model name was Houlihan. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, what fucking stop the runway, Houlihan. Work it, Benny Hanna. Like, what Work the fuck it. is that? <laughs> what was your mo- what would be your model name? Um uh uh Gulia. Yeah. Gulia. G H O O L I A. I think I would want something really like a hot first name, like Well, well I guess if you become iconic as a model, then you're mo- like you're Tyra. Yeah. You're Adriana. I love you're- like um I just love the regular names like Karen Elson or like uh Kristen McMenemy. Kate yes. Moss. Kate Moss is probably the best. Kate Moss, and Naomi Campbell is probably the best like model names. I love um, top model because it's always a bunch of it's a mix, right? Kate There's always Moss. bona fide natural born models where they've never really done it, and in front of the camera, it's like flawless, and you're like, wow. But there's always one or two. I'm gonna say Hooters girls. <laughs> there's always one or two like actual men's calendar just uh, oh, jugs yeah. and like. Uh. <laughs> and this the prompt is to like uh and every picture they're like they're just like spitting on their it's tits just and jugs with cum together. on them and they have their pussy two fingers spread <laughs> out and they're like so it was a mascara ad and you spat on your tits <laughs> i noticed you kept drooling on your oh, your breasts which were exposed yeah. to sell the the mascara yeah. so the prompt <laughs> was for you to dress like a homeless person which is the type of thing they do yeah they did and you chose to walk in <laughs> With clamps on both nipples. And a dildo up your ass. And you proceeded to walk in and ask Mike Ruiz <laughs> if his nipples were wired. <laughs> and then you had Jill Ben Simone put a car battery up to his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is fuck. so crazy. I Show. love. Oh, fuck it. it was models wild. have a different life. A different life? A very different Tall, life. Rail thin. Yeah. What, and I uh, was striking. Like we Bug talked eye. about it before. Like, um. A lot of them are boot nasty, ugly, like yeah. like scary, scary, scary looking, but like, you know, like, yeah, I, you know, and you know, but Tyra, you know, I'd never seen that show till COVID and watching it for the, watching oh. it as an adult, oh, is everyone different. watches it like nostalgia, but watching it for me the first time, 
is even if I'm in the room alone, it's a lot of me like. Is anybody else seeing this? Yeah. She is. Watch her talk show. You will the hair. You will curl your hair. It will curl. Wait, do you your remember when she hair. had Westboro Baptist Church on? And she goes, "What did you guys call me earlier? A, a fag enabler. Ooh, what's that? What's you, a fag enabler? She wants. He's like, yeah, say it again. Fa a she wanted she to loves say it. faggot. Yeah, she wanted to say it so bad. She She's like, you hear that, Miss J? They said faggot. They said, get the faggot off the TV. I'm not watching that. What do you think of Miss J? Miss the, J, the uh, runway so, coach. So there was, yeah, there was. She drags those Janice, girls. Janice, Miss J, J, J Alexander, and then uh, Tyra. Well, and then, Tyra, Tyra was um, a little bit rude. She'd was be it like, Gilles? no, um, what's the guy's name? Nigel, the photographer. Well, it was Kamora Lee Barker. Simmons too. Was in the first season. Oh right, the owner of Baby Fat. And all so that. was Janice the second season? No, Janice was in one. Because Tyra would be like, yeah, you really got in there, and you know, we were kind of disappointed. And then Kamora would say something really like. You know, as a client, we would want you to be able to sell the product. And but, then they yeah. cut to Janice and she'd be like, you just look fucking, you should, Janice would be like, you have a big square jaw. <laughs> you have no tits. Yeah. And then those droopy eyes on those fucking shoulders, yeah. that's all I can see. Yeah. What's wrong with Janice? you? Go work at a construction site, brick. <laughs> Meanwhile, Janice's eyebrows are vertical. <laughs> vertical. Um, and and she, Janice yeah. is, of course, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. The original Even in her, like, model. I'm just going to say, Caitlin like, this Jenner. is not bad to her. Yeah. Even in her heavy-handed 2000s plastic surgery, yeah. she still is Gorjana. Yeah, yeah. And But she turns him and goes like, you look like you had to fart. <laughs> She's like, no, it's, that's what you want to see in a show like that, though. You don't see, you don't butter up. Arch, like, when you uncross your legs, yeah. I expected to see yeah. testicles. Yeah. What's all that fish in your pussy? Yeah. <laughs> what about the wood chips in your ass? Yeah. And she'll say, she, in the first season, she was saying things like, you know, a little flabby for modeling. <gasps> oh, you know, like oh she's... God. Yes. Well, she's like she's just the voice of the the uh in the incorrect politically incorrect voice of like the casting department. But how are we going to have a discussion about bodies and faces and modeling without critiquing bodies and faces? Right. So I don't actually think that show by nature is meant to cross some lines yes. when it comes to commenting on people's bodies. And it's an indictment of the industry, right? Because it is. It, they're it is. like th this is what this is these are the rules this is what's established and we're not necessarily looking at why or challenging it but that's the way it is and that's kind of tough shit but like so Yes, it's like it, it wasn't unlike the opening of Triangle of Sadness when that guy's at that casting oh, call. It was it's worse. That was Triangle of Sadness was actually kind of tame. Yeah. You know, Janice Dick and your son. No matter how gorgeous, I don't know if I could be the type of person where like no, because you could say shit about. By the way, you could say shit about this drag, and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah you could say a lot of shit." That's about my that drag. that's drag. Yeah, but when it's like your job is your body, and your body's your livelihood, and your face, but and also, they're just like, and your and your body and your face are selling the the a uh, million dollar global brand that needs to be at the cutting edge of fierce and like fashion. You know what I mean? Yeah, like. I was I watched those like cheesy corny runway videos where like it's Naomi Campbell versus Bella Hadid or whatever, and it's um, I don't have that, obviously, but like that walk, that confident walk, the bounce. I mean, it's like I am that girl. Like this pussy is red hot, and if you try to finger me, you're gonna pull back bones. I feel that off when I'm doing like a runway. Oh, I never, but do. I know I don't look it, but yeah. I feel it. I've never felt that. You don't? No, because I can't give it. I give lobster who's been like declawed and let out of the tank <laughs> to go live a, a sedentary life <laughs> and dies on the way back to the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. No. What do you think about turtles being like born in the sand and finding their own way back to the ocean? hundred years old. These turtles sometimes hundred years old, not the babies. No, no. The oldies. Yeah. They can live up to a hundred tortoises, cold blooded animals, more instincts, mammals. Everything has to be taught to us. Lizards and shit. They know. Lizard brain, right? No. Automatic. If anybody cares, I'm in season seven drag because of a video I did today. So that will be coming down the pike. So enjoy that. Yeah, please enjoy that at your own risk. Enjoy that, bitch. Okay, Ooh, and uh, no go see Kelly Mantle. She's going oh, yeah. on tour. KellyMantle.com for tickets. Your mind will be blown and maybe your dick as well. Work. Bye. Bye.